Hello everyone, I'm Adam. In the last video, we introduced the PPK field workflow. Today, we will continue to introduce the post-process procedure. First, use a USB data cable to transfer the raw data collected by the base and the rover stations to the computer. These raw data files can be found in the receiver's storage under the static Linux directory. Next, open the HBC software and create a new PBK project file. Enter the relevant project information and click OK. A coordinate system window will then pop up. Click Manager and select the same coordinate system used during PBK data collection. Click Apply to confirm. And now we need to import the PBK data from both the base and rover stations. Click Import Data File, then choose GenSS File and Row GenSS Observation Files in sequence, and select the corresponding PBK data files for import. Once the data is successfully imported, you will see the PBK marked points displayed on the map. Double-click on an observation file to view detailed information. And next, configure the baseline processing in the dynamic interface. Select the stop and go mode. Leave the other parameters as default. Then select the PBK baseline. Right-click and choose Process Selective Baseline to initiate the processing. Upon completion, a message will appear in the output window. Finally, click Report to export the baseline processing report. HPC supports multiple formats such as .html and .pdf. The exported report includes coordinate parameters. It became marked point data and more. You can also click on data station point data to export the post-processed point data. Here you can select the specific point information you want to export. And click OK to complete the process. That's it for the post-processing part of PBK data collection. Follow us to unlock more practical surveying skills.